Welcome to another quality tutorial by FacultyDev.com These screencast tutorials should be viewed at a minimum screen resolution of 1024 x 768. If you are using Internet Explorer or Firefox, pressing the F11 key will switch to full screen viewing mode. To return to regular viewing mode, just press the F11 key again. For the most effective training experience, use this screencast tutorial with the print title, Adobe InDesign CS2 Revealed. Click on the cover image to purchase this title at Amazon.com. We hope you find this tutorial useful, and welcome your comments. This screencast tutorial will look at zooming and moving around in your document. We'll also look at creating a second view, and then create a side-by-side, -side, or tiled layout, in your workspace. Refer to the section titled, Changing Document Views, in the print title, Adobe InDesign CS2, Revealed, for further details. You may find it easier to work with your document if you zoom in so that you can see details. There are powerful tools and options for changing the way you view your document. Let's start by zooming in on your current document using the zoom tool on the tools palette. Notice that the cursor changes to an hourglass shape. Move the cursor to the part of the document that you want to zoom in on. Then click to zoom in. Press the Alt key changes the plus sign on the hourglass tool to a minus sign. This means that clicking will zoom out instead of zooming in. We'll click twice to zoom out of the document. You can return to viewing the entire document by selecting the View menu, and then clicking on Fit Page in Window. The keyboard shortcut Ctrl-0 will also run this command. This zoom level is usually a good default to return to. When the Zoom tool is selected, you can also click and drag a selection box around the area that you would like to zoom in on. When the document is zoomed in, you can move it around by sliding the scroll bars. Another useful tool to use is the Hand Tool, on the Tools palette. With the Hand Tool selected, you can click and drag using the mouse to change the document view. Let's switch back to the fifth page view, again. You can stop using the zoom or hand tool by clicking on the selection tool. It is often useful to create more than one view of your document. To create another view, you create a new window by clicking on the arrange option in the window menu. Since you cannot see both windows, you need to arrange them. You can arrange the windows by adjusting the borders by dragging them. Another shortcut is to use the tile option in the window menu. You can now zoom in on just one of the windows. This allows you to create custom views of your document and view them at the same time.
The palettes are hiding the document. Clicking on the palette tab will minimize it, showing more of the document. To restore the palette, just click on the tab again. This concludes the screencast tutorial on Adobe and Design CS2. For the most complete learning experience, consider purchasing the print title, Adobe and Design CS2 Revealed. Clicking on the cover image will take you to the product page for this book at Amazon.com. The student files for this title are also available at www.course.com slash revealed. We hope you found this screencast tutorial useful, and welcome your comments.